welcome to the Xena Warrior Podcast. My name is Vera and I'm joined, as always, by my two freshly plucked co-hosts, Katie. Hello. And Livy. Hello. Why freshly plucked? Well, you might be like, you know, minding your own business in high school oh, and I, then you're I thought like freshly good brows. Plucked. I was like, <laughs> does Selma have good brows? I, I guess think she so. does, yeah. Yeah, they're nice. So you, you never know when you might just end up in some yoldy pre-Amazon times. Uh huh. I get it. Uh huh. With uh-huh. the backpack. Uh-huh. Don't forget the yeah. backpack. Guys. She was in school. Before we begin, mm. let's just get one thing straight. Okay. Amazon's rule! Amazon's oh, rule! Yes. I mean, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a wrong fact. Uh, well, today, as uh, you might be able to tell, we're talking about episode 516 Lifeblood. Yep. The one that came right after Married with Fish Sticks. It did. What a one-two punch. <laughs> Was anyone watching the show? <laughs> I, I mean, we've, deci- we've discussed how season five is a trying period, and boy, this might be the, you know, the, the most but trying it, of it all. It's pretty funny that we declared ourselves past the trying period already. Well. That's true. <laughs> Cause I, we, sorry. Could go you, no, for, no, I'm no, sorry. I know exactly what you're going to say. Please. I would like to introduce that thought mm. by saying... There is a great Xena Warrior podcast uh, trivia fact for you people. Oh. And that is, if you were to ask what was the first episode of Xena mm. these two might have seen. By like, these two, you mean Katie, Katie and Livy, because remember I watched it when it was actually on. Like straight through? Yeah. Like from beginning to end. Uh-huh. Like sit down, start to finish. Because as I've mentioned... My 90s recollections are having seen bits and bobs, maybe. Okay, but so you didn't watch Xena. Mm-hmm. Okay, stop trying to make it mm-hmm. that you did. <laughs> you watched I'm it. I didn't see it. <laughs> yes, you watched it in 2015. The factoid is that the very first episode you guys watched, 10 years earlier, around 2005 or 6, was this episode. Yeah. Wow. Was it a li- What did you maybe? I feel like I saw some Kalisto I, bits oh, or the whole was thing. Was that when I was I trying can't to show remember, you? No, but I you remember. tried. You, it, I think you tried twice. You had shown me uh, the Hercules oh, episode. Right. I definitely you're right, seen you're that right. from beginning mind. to end. Katie, this mine. is a fact about Katie. All right, just <laughs> don't take <laughs> this from me. It's mine alone. <laughs> I'm happy not to be a part of this. It's not about me. <laughs> This is the so, first yes. episode of Xena Warrior Princess I watched from beginning to end. <laughs> Why is that? Because Claudia Black is in it, and I loved Far Escape. Yeah, so it was a mini Claudia Black IMDb experience. Yes. <laughs> Just this. <laughs> well, uh, surely, I mean, Pitch Black, we watched that oh, too. Oh, yeah, she's great in that. Yeah, but, you know, we were like, wow, this lady from Far Escape. Was it amazing. Zena? What? She has a few lines. What, Vera, explain uh, Far Escape. Farscape, oh, yeah, if you don't know it, is uh, a, a wonderful program for anyone who loves Xena. Maybe you should check it out. Um, it's a space opera yeah. romance. Yeah. Uh, and there's puppets, unfortunately, because it's but Jim Henson. But not unfortunately, great. in an amazing way. Yeah, sure. It's, great it's puppets. Good. For the most part, it is good. Um, it is Australia. Cre- like, they filmed it in Australia. So it's like a co-production. And therefore, uh, lots of good Aussies hanging out. Some of them appear on Xena totally. once in a while. And I wept over those puppets. I <laughs> yes, laughed yes, at yes. those puppets. Do you know yes, Vera? You like, know she also is like, oh, sometimes Xena shouldn't have like martial arts, yeah. which yeah. is like a huge sometimes part of the really show. It's really hard to fit it, okay? Vera loves when there's to a funny shows looking. where silly. she doesn't like yeah. some foundational aspects. I don't like the <laughs> silly. Like, why must it be silly when there's so good other things? But if it's it's one of the greatest like collaborative experiences, uh, as we had come to find out via commentaries and whatnot. Um, it's just a really great show, and totally. you know I think we have a, a mini sode awaiting yes. us in, yeah. In, yeah, the, yeah. in the pipes. Yeah, so if you like hearing us talk about Farscape, stay tuned. <laughs> uh, okay, so Claudia Black, yeah. <laughs> amazing. Love her. She plays. Karina? Karina. They, I feel like they never say her say name. Her name. No. We, I just call it Claudia Black in my yep, notes. I do too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. So let's rewind and uh, discuss what? What, what we're doing today. Yeah. What yeah. is this episode? What is, what what is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's an episode of Zeta that's sort of a clip show, but it's a clip show full of clips from not Zena. <laughs> Did we say that it's called Lifeblood? It is called Lifeblood. 
Vera, have you done your spiel about who wrote and directed this? I uh, know. Well, it's let's let's do it. Sure, let's let's because get it, ha- into it it comes from different sources. Right. The story is by Rob Tappert and R.J. Stewart, and the teleplay is by R.J. Stewart, George Strayton, and Tom O'Neill, and it's directed by Michael Hurst. Hey. Hey. Interestingly, uh, it is also directed by Paul Grinder. Hey. Who you may remember from last week's Opus Married <laughs> with Fish Sticks. <laughs> His only director credit on Xena, even though he directed half of this week's episode. He directed all the parts that are Xena. Right. And it came in just one minute short compared to Michael Hurst's Amazon High sections. So the way that works is that Michael Hurst gets the full credit. Full credit. Oh, he directed that's so odd. one minute more. Okay. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he wishes... It were reversed. I think it's good because it's not that he's like they used one minute more of that footage. Yeah, it's not that like they had a choice. You think they could deliver? <laughs> they could have cut out one extra minute. They were like, "Who's getting the blame for this?" <laughs> uh, Michael. <laughs> sure he's fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, we haven't outright said it, but Amazon High was a pilot yes. that Ren Pick shot in 1997, so yeah. like two and a half years before what they're shooting for this episode. Uh, and you can kind of tell it looks older. Yeah. And Carl Urban looks younger. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a oh, baby. Baby. <laughs> Baby core. Uh, they tried to sell this. I, I've heard different versions. I've heard that they like couldn't get a bite on it. Like they couldn't quite close a deal on a mm-hmm. sale. That's not what Rob says. I know. <laughs> Rob, meanwhile, says that he himself decided to stop selling it because he felt the market was oversaturated with other like okay. prehistoric set pilots. That was crazy. What? <laughs> so Rob. Seems to have gone to that like TV syndicated convention that you see in season two of Glow, where they're going around trying to sell. Do you think Glow? he was doing the thing where he was like, "I have a VHS copy of Amazon One, High. one copy I'm on of the Amazon phone to High. no one talking about my." It's so Amazon. hot right now, Amazon <laughs> High. <laughs> and he said that he did sell it. But then he saw that, like, again, this was the most confusing part where he was like, there was so much of this already that our show would get lost. I'm not sure if he meant high school shows in general or prehistoric he shows. He must have meant prehistoric because Amazon High doesn't seem that concerned with high school, even though if you read a synopsis of, like, the whole movie, it does involve, you know, some modern day high school sections. Yeah. But, like, isn't it I don't know. like about I don't know. a girl in the, you know... The past in her loincloth fighting cannibals. What show was he talking about? That I was don't like what? Know. What was on at that time? That was like so much dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's a little odd. Um, I wonder if it was what year is this? Ninety five. This would be. Uh, they shot it in late ninety seven, and we're probably shopping it around in ninety eight. Was it Roar? Was that getting in the way? Oh, oh, I love Roar. Let's play Roar. Yeah. <laughs> Is Roar Renpix though? No. no. No, okay. Then yes, Roar. It's all because of Roar. <sighs> I don't know what year that was. It was around this time. Yeah. <laughs> Judging by those bangs. <laughs> don't, no, don't, don't, don't bring them up. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So anyway, this is a confounding thing that happened. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it's interesting because, you know, you can tell from especially uh, any of the scenes involving horses that they spent a ton of money on this. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks good. It's it's an ambitious thing, question mark. (laughs) Uh, They wanted to, you know, use this footage in some form. Again, this is like two and a half years later. At this point, they can't make the show or, you know, they wouldn't be interested right. in making the show. Most of the actors have gone on to better things. <laughs> and uh, so they just uh, cut it up and shove it in a Xena with <sighs> barely any context. Uh-huh. So is this their bottle episode because they had all this footage Yeah, already? I mean, I think this is a way of saving money. And it looks it. My goodness, they did not. Sometimes, you know, we, we give their <laughs> clip shows shit because they're, so, they're actually so ambitious. They look yeah. like they cost a lot of money. The framing story is like yeah. a, a lot of plot. This episode is really a classic bad clip show in yeah. that the framing story is so lazy. Right. I mean, the clips cost a lot of money. The clips cost <laughs> a ton of money. <laughs> so should we talk a little bit about pilots? Yeah, sure. Okay. The magical world of pilots, which is often footage that like nobody ever gets to see because yeah. of the Sometimes, way TV yeah. works. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're bad. Yeah. A Sometimes lot of they're times good. they're bad. I actually think that 
they're always bad because I have no discerning ability to see past like a concept <laughs> that can be fixed. You know what I mean? Like I'm very critical when I watch a pilot, or I'm like, that sucked. <laughs> but sometimes you watch a pilot that's amazing. Like what, what? about the Twin Peaks pilot? Oh, yeah, the Twin Peaks well, pilot. that's like a finished. Well, I guess like we're talking about different things. Mm. Like I guess I'm talking about like really early. Or what, what they deem, pilot. what, what yeah. some people deem as like, this is not working, and then they like yeah. re-film the whole thing. Yeah, like the Buffy. Right. right. If you or guys don't Thrones. know, you can watch the Buffy pilot, and it is really weird. There's a different Willow. He <laughs> is not good. No. Um, <laughs> well, I wish that you could watch the Game of Thrones original pilot. I would love With a to. different Daenerys. Oh, it's so intriguing. And Catelyn. And a different Catelyn, yes, you're right. Yeah, and those are actual actors who are good. Yeah. So that's a little weird. It's Maybe baffling it to imagine mood. it being bad. What's interesting about seeing the Buffy pilot is it's pretty similar pretty to similar. the finished product. Mm. Yep. Just a little jankier. Yeah. Uh, but apparently the Game of Thrones unaired pilot was so bad that they yeah. retooled the whole thing. And that's the thing when that. you're looking at something like the Buffy pilot, even though there's elements that aren't working, you, you, you're supposed to be able to see and go, aha, Right. I will get this show and, and develop it and make it work. And then you do. That's the part where I would look at it and be like, ooh, this is stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> and I don't work in development. That's my issue. Part I can't of it do is that. that I think it is changing. Mm-hmm. Like, you get the sense that now a lot of shows are going straight to series. Mm-hmm. You know, you write like 12 scripts before anything shot. Like, I think people are kind of leaning now into the let's get a polished final product. Let's not start with like a stupid pilot that then you take (laughs) like eight episodes to find your groove with right exactly pluses and minuses (laughs) to all things well Um, they did not find their groove with this one right it was not good it has its charms i can't imagine watching the show amazon high but you can't quibble with the casting they have some talented people (laughs) they do doing this nonsense (laughs) i think like on paper i like the idea and then also, so. it would be like, I was trying to think of what would be good, and I feel, I don't know if I'm just, like, confusing it in my head with, like, the idea of, like, Clone High or something like that. Oh, my God, oh my God I love Clone High. It made me think of, like, it was, like, wouldn't it be fun, like, an animated show? Hmm. Well, it's it's fascinating because what they It'd just did and funny. was reverse Cleopatra 2525. They yeah. took mm. a lady they from actually, now and put her in back in time. I think Amazon High really became Cleopatra 2525. Oh, okay. Like they took the parts of this that they thought worked and made it that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So like... They were like, never mind. We can't go back. Let's go forward. And that kind of goes with Rob's story about how he didn't like the fact that there were a lot of shows set in <laughs> prehistoric times. So he was like, the future. <laughs> okay. Because there weren't any of those. No. I, what is so hmm, He's just saying things. Rob, <laughs> he wanted Fish Sticks to be a show, right? Right. Yeah. So that too was kind that's of. That's just sweet. upsetting to me that yeah. like he could have had SpongeBob. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could have. That's, so close. <laughs> Every so day close. he laments Zena this fact. Zena did it first. Did we even say that at Fish <laughs> uh, Rob probably. wakes up daily and goes, Lucy, I could have <laughs> had Spongebob. <laughs> Um, but I mean, there's fun stuff in the idea. Like a modern girl goes back to Amazon Times and has to fit in, and that's funny. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, in a way, I wish we'd seen more of the stuff you know is in there, which is her like being like, "Wow, well, where's my?" It wouldn't be a cell phone at that point. Where's my modern girl stuff? Where's my from tampon? The 90s. Yeah, where's my tampon? <laughs> I got these leaves. What? You can tell there's that one other Amazon who like totally loves all her modern shit oh that's olan <laughs> olan yeah yes. so i like i love that dynamic and i can totally see myself watching this pilot and giggling and all that nonsense yeah i can't yeah. ship those two i'd love to see it from start to finish yes and uh it's a bummer that you can't right because they like burned it all or something <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh shoot <laughs> well on hulu <laughs> the episodes start with the promo <laughs> and the promo for this one is awesome. Yeah. It makes it sound so good. Oh my God. It's just like, oh, this, you know, I love the Amazons, and it's just like all this crazy stuff about Amazons, and it just gets you all excited, and then you get there. <laughs> and you're like, what's happening? <laughs> I, well, I think we should start off like sometimes we say if we like the episode or not, and I feel like 
back to that issue mm-hmm. of it being the first one I ever watched start to finish, obviously then it holds a special <laughs> place in my heart for, for yeah. that reason. <laughs> um, but for us, I think, and at least for me, it has all these fun people in it that that supersedes how bad it is and I'm just like lol it's got like Selma Blair it's got Claudia Black yeah. it's got all this ridiculous stuff I honestly was yeah. amused by the Amazon high sections I thought yeah. the, the Xena stuff yeah. Yeah. was embarrassing yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. that's, like, that, that's what's funny I'm like oh yeah this like failed pilot that never saw the light of day, light of day. fun Xena ah no <laughs> I'm back okay well this episode begins uh, with Shots of some uh, New Zealand scenery, mm. and really you pretty. have some voiceover of is Gabrielle. The scroll? What do you think? She's barding, yeah. She's barding. Well, I mean, yeah, she's reading her scroll. Mm. She wrote about Amazon High. Yeah, I guess you can tell this is the scroll because it's way purple. So purple. They also needed to be like, what is happening? We have to make a Xena episode out of Amazon High. So yeah. they had to write in some, like, yeah. VO. To They're explain. making it did, it, this... did this help explain it for it you? It did. Oh, okay. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. They introduced <laughs> some major players immediately. That's yeah. true. They mentioned some Sara. Yeah. Right there off the top. Exactly. Which and is weird, because then you think she's going to be, like, the central figure of Amazon High and she is yeah. not. We, it's yep. Really weird. Because they had to uh, make a plot happen. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we hear that she's a legendary warrior whose lust for blood perverted the Amazon's history for eons. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. What was going to happen with Samsara on Amazon High? Was she going to become a villain? I guess. I guess so, I guess yeah. that's where it was going. Yeah. And then we also find out that Xena and Gabs are bringing Eve to the Amazon so that Gabs can give her her right of casts. Uh huh. I immediately went, why? <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> well, they explain it. Well, I mean, she does her best to try yeah. to explain it. She they, does her best. <laughs> and I appreciated that not far into the scene, Xena is also like, I don't know. Oh, I loved that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole idea that, like, Gabs is handing Eve a passport to being a warrior woman, which is such a, mm-hmm. f- like, you know, fraught question for them whether right. Eve should be in a life of violence and Gaz yeah. is like oh here you can be an Amazon well, she, it's weird because she's <laughs> that's she, a passive way she of, wants her to be part of a family it's yeah. odd be, it's an odd <laughs> conversation that I feel does not make sense <laughs> and I'm going to try and articulate why because I understand like when we first meet Xena in the show Xena Warrior Princess she is a loner figure who has like gone through some shit right right and she's kind of addressing the idea here like now she has gabrielle blah, blah, blah. she wants eve to be part of something like but she talks about how her like just general way of being the individualistic and such made her have this bloodlust and stuff however it's not that. It was that she so cared <laughs> about her family and her community that she started doing all these things that were bad. That's true. And then went that off is, on the thing. That's very so wrong just, of Zena. So it, it was a little <laughs> confusing, and I think there's a lot of complicated thoughts in here about her past that didn't quite make sense for why she wants Eve to do this huge thing. So for me, the only thing that makes it okay, which then comes up again next week, um, is that this is Gabrielle's thing, and Gabrielle's part of her family, and she would like Eve to be Have part of something. something that is also belongs to Gabrielle. I think mm. if Gabrielle had been able to pitch the right of cast as, you know, not necessarily you're going to be an Amazon, but as just some kind of, I don't know, support network for Eve when she gets older, like, to me, it felt a little bit like trying to control Eve's destiny in a way yeah. that was sort of frustrating. It's like, no, like, yeah. why, let Eve choose whether she wants to be an Amazon. Right. Like, hmm. at least Gabrielle got the right of cast from saving 
I forget her name. I want to call yeah, her Therese. <laughs> Therese. I think that's right. <laughs> Therese. Therese. Yeah. Therese uh, Belovet. <laughs> it's really from, good. From uh, trying to save that girl's life. And yeah, she but was, she didn't ask for that. That just happened. She didn't ask for it, but it was, her. you know, it was the consequence of a choice. She mm-hmm. was proving her mettle in, in some way. Whereas, like, Eve is a baby. <laughs> like... Anyway, you thought we didn't have anything to say about this episode. Oh, no. LOL. Anyway, the device of getting them there doesn't really work. It doesn't super great, exactly but work. It's okay. But I can see how they were like, this is perfect. We just need to get them to the Amazon so they can do some kind of weird ritual and then we can throw in the clips. Right. right. <laughs> but it is surprising. We can all agree coming we off can... of Eternal Bonds where mm-hmm. you had the spot of blood on Eve. I know. Like, to then go to Rite of Cash. Yeah. It's an Amazon. Oh, put a pin in it because we'll get to this. We'll get in, to a spot, uh, a spot of blood at the end of this even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in next week's episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the baby does a really cute thing Mm -hmm. while they're talking about this and walking where she's like grabbing onto uh, Xena's breastplate I thought it was really cute cute yeah the baby does a lot of this is some good baby yeah this episode and honestly the next one too Mm -hmm. okay so when they arrive at the Amazon village they're like Troy with the pizzas oh yeah it's all on fire everything's on fire yeah I mean almost basically because there's a bunch of funeral pyres that are gonna go (laughs) up Oh, everyone's dead, Dave. Like, so many dead uh, Amazons. And so many dead Amazons we know. Yeah, so it's that thing. They're doing that thing where they're, like, killing off, like, the Amazons we know and introducing new Amazons for us to follow. So, you're cute. Oh, no, she's dead. Sad. But yeah. even more sad, Amarise. Uh, off-screen Amarise. <laughs> she's just... They don't even have her there yeah. to be dead in front of Couldn't they the have audience. just had her pop her head in from the, like, set next door where they're shooting Cleopatra? <laughs> could, they, could they have put that hat on that she was introduced <laughs> in? Aww. Aww. R.I.P. Amarise. This is a bummer. Uh, so, they light the funeral pyre, right? And a coot ghost sits up. <laughs> <laughs> and oh she throws God. this, like, mystical fireball. Just blamp. Yeah, at Zena. Sits right up. And it gives Zena the weirdest flashes. Yep. I she hate this. Selma Blair! <laughs> she sees Selma Blair! That's weird! I love that. It's so ridiculous. I just, I love the Amazon so much that I, like, I don't like that none of the mythology works. <laughs> I'm fine with it when it's, you know, more centrade, mystical, and you're just like, oh, okay, and you can accept it. <laughs> and this is like fireballs and Selma Blair. <laughs> yep. Fireballs and Selma Blair. Yeah. That's a good... A uh, way to describe this episode. Um, so we are introduced to this new Amazon character. She's named Cyan. Which is so confusing. There's 20 Cyans here. Well, I didn't realize until this episode that Cyan was a ceremonial name. And I was like, what? What mm-hmm. about OG Cyan? In, in no, Sintra? OG so, Cyan is so much I know. I had this like revelation where I was like, wait a minute. OG <laughs> Cyan is like the second Cyan because I'd already <laughs> shot Amazon High. She was named after Selma Blair. Oh, no. They were already following this mythology. It's amazing. Uh, sure. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, this one right here. I mean, she is named Cyan. We don't have any other name for her, right? No, she just tells us that she changed her name to Cyan when... Out of obligation, okay? Not because she wanted it, lie. (laughs) (laughs) I love how she's like, Gabrielle, Zena, I prepared a yurt for you. I don't know. (laughs) Oh, wait, is that when Gabrielle's like... Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's when she introduces herself. But then uh, we find out that Yakut saw, like, foresaw their arrival, and therefore she's like, go make a yurt for them. Yeah, she already knew, and, and hence Amaris knew to, like, put an extra bead for Eve on the necklace oh, yeah. that Gabrielle gave her, and, and they returned the necklace, the necklace to her. Oh. Sad. I like some continuity, though, with them bones, them bones. This right. episode does not have much continuity <laughs> otherwise. It is a pile of nonsense. Yeah. Otherwise. Okay, the baby at this point is playing with Gabrielle's side. <gasps> this is the <laughs> cutest shit. See, she wants to be like covered in blood. <laughs> I had to watch this scene like three times because the first two I got distracted by the baby every it was time. Really cute. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they decide to still go ahead with the ceremony of like giving her the right of cast. But Dina can't come because she ain't no Amazon. Nope. Gabrielle has a nice, has that, you know, nice thought there about, you know, they have to go through with it because uh, it'd be good for the tribe because everybody just got murdered. You know, yeah. cycles, life, death, bring some nice life and new 
babies. Right. She's like, let's throw a in. party. Yeah. Yeah. She, even though this isn't her tribe, she's concerned with the health of the tribe. But then, one second later, the episode confuses matters by having them say that this is her tribe. Yeah. She's uh, queen of this tribe. Right. Even though this isn't her tribe. I think there's like one they got tribe. they got real confused. Yeah, Whoever they're only wrote one this now. They're forgot. already pretty sure tiny on the that. Yeah, I don't, oh, <laughs> for now. So yeah, now there isn't. This is the northern Amazons, but they're also the Greek Amazons. I think. Yeah, every, I, I think in season five and six, yeah, they're like starting to converge because then in season six, when you see the Amazons, they're like have Amazons from everywhere. I guess so. In that one place. Amazon Nation. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, exactly. So there Okay, you go. well, permit this mostly, but it really seems like they're the northern Amazons yeah. from Sintrade and that Gabrielle is not their queen. But they seem to think she is. So that you know, I would I would have Gabrielle be my queen whether or not there was right. precedent for it. <laughs> well, speaking of which, so Cyan explains that, you know, first Gabrielle has to become queen in order to then give the right of cast to to Eve, like officially in these ceremonies. And I really liked how uh Gabs was like, uh girl, you know I'm not staying, right? <laughs> and she's like, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then you can like give, you know, the queenly powers to someone else when once you go. AKA me. me. I have a name. <laughs> I'm literally I'm, the only yeah. character you've met, so and it's my, better be my me. My name was already basically means queen, so. <laughs> so then Yakut goes, to, tells Xena to like shamanize herself and go into like the shaman tent. Why? <laughs> I don't know why she needed to. Yeah, why does she need to wear that leather outfit? Why is Yakut only appearing to Xena? Why can't she appear to everyone and be like, stop? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because Xena needs to have a plot. Okay. But good enough reason. Yeah. Okay. We see that Yakut has like blood on her face. Well, that's yeah, like, I like that. I thought that was like the ceremonial because you have to put the blood on your forehead. Oh, I thought it was her battle. Me oh, too. I so did I like it? Looked it, was so upset. Gross. it looked kind of horror movie upsetting. I don't know. I mean, sometimes they just put the blood on their foreheads too. But it's like dripping all down her face. <laughs> all right, let's let's just say that's a uh, horror movie good stuff. There. Sure. Good. <laughs> Floating sure. Yakut equals. Good. <laughs> Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> well, floating your coot tells Zena that she can't cross over to the other side because there's some unfinished Amazon business. The key to the future lies in the past. <laughs> I think if you say that in your clip show episode, it's an automatic you lose a thousand points. <laughs> But it was good, right? It was in the preview on Hulu. Uh, and which sounds great. You're like, oh, Amazon history. Oh, yeah. That's true. Amazon mythology. Ep, I'd be all over that in theory. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she needs Zena's help, basically, to do stuff for her. Okay, so then we have the ceremony, right? Ceremony begins for Gabrielle. And they start, like, saying stuff like, a queen is a chalice. We must fill her up with... Visions of our history in the yeah. form of a clip show. <laughs> Fragments from a time before we were Amazons, when cannibals slaughtered our men, and warriors like the great Samsara called on the shaman for a savior from the future. What? An Atma, the, the first Cyan! And then there's dancing, <laughs> and then there's flashbacks. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. All right, so behold the legendary Samsara, you guys. Behold. She's Ebony. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Okay, are these, do, I didn't look it up. <laughs> we could cut this out if you want, but Samsara, as a, as a name, is means like cycles right yeah in hinduism mm-hmm. so i think it's yeah it's a so hinduism you could reference. write a whole thing about this about how, how it's effany face <gasps> and Whoa. something i don't know wow what does make it any mean sense for effany like she's trapped in some kind of cycle that she can't break out of i don't know because she's nothing like <gasps> samsara oh wait never mind i thought because i was like effany took a an arrow for for Amaris, right? Right. And then, but then and I yeah, was gonna, Coot took yeah, an arrow yeah, for yeah. Cyan. Cycles. Cycles of violence. <laughs> she is wearing a costume. Yeah, a lot of people in this episode are wearing costumes. That's for sure. Hers, I think, is the most, like, what is that movie? Um, 1000 BC? Is that what it's called? 100 BC? 1 million years BC? <laughs> what? With, with Raquel Welch. 
clothes. Oh, you know, oh, in, the, in the fur bikini. Oh shit! That oh, that's, that's correct. That's what they're doing. Oh no! I thought they were doing sexy Flintstones. I mean, also <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah, because she's basically wearing uh, what Fred wears. <laughs> oh no! Like but a sexy. sexy Fred Flintstone <laughs> yes. costume. Wow. <laughs> oh man, she's fighting some cannibals, right? With Claudia Black. Yes, yes. Claudia Black. Claudia she's Black. There. I love her hair in this. Yes. Gorgeous and her, cave woman hair. Yeah, and her voice, her just voice? everything. She's just like best. pretty much. The eye makeup is yeah. good. Everything about her hair is She's good. She's just so Claudia Black. It's just fantastic. It's wonderful. Um, the dudes that the, the, the cannibals are fighting. They're fighting the war boys. Well, I was just literally going to say, yeah. <laughs> war boys, Mad Max, Fury <laughs> Road. <laughs> but yeah, they eat Zena people. Zena did a friend. But like <laughs> not... Well, original Mad Max, because they didn't have those ones. Right. Only the new one had those ones. Yes. The, right? I mm-hmm. think... The makeup. I think he... George Miller uh, watched this episode. For Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. It's probably the first episode of Xena he saw. Maybe he saw the original uh, Amazon High pilot. Maybe. And he was like, I'm inspired. Jeez. <laughs> 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 so they get from the War Boys this, like, ivory horse head Thingy. thing. Yeah. I thought it was a boomerang when I first watched <laughs> no. this. No, it is a crafted thing. <laughs> and a they, crafted thing. They give it to their shaman, this dude, and he's supposed to call... I was so surprised by the dude shaman. Yeah. I was like, dude? A dude? Well, there are... The, mm, should we already talk about, like, their how deal? there's a... Yeah, what is their deal? Yeah, let's... Yeah. Okay, so... This tribe of women, right? They're not Amazons. They're the Tritomic, Triminic. Yeah. Yeah. And they, all of their men have been slaughtered by the cannibals tribe, the Varanus, whatever. And so it's basically, <laughs> we, we know we're I mean, it's about. men versus women, like the two tribes. We get it. And the, the I, don't know, people. I don't know why the dudes only eat. Take the men and eat them. I don't get that. Men are but whatever. Tastier. Whatever. Um, so now they have like no men. So they're like, let's band together and uh, you know, be Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> like, let's do this. Right now they're all female warriors. Yeah. That's the only way women get to rise to the occasion when <laughs> men are no more. <laughs> they're eaten. Um, so that's their deal. It's um, a little annoying. Yeah, I would say as an origin story for the Amazons. Mm-hmm. But they need to call upon the great Atma from the future. To, to lead come. them. Yeah, lead them and, and save them. So they get this, uh, Samsara gets this like magical horse thingy and it uh, gives it to the shaman and is like, do it. Do it now. Bring me Selma Blair. And he does. <laughs> I love this reaction. It is a good comedy moment. Great timing where Selma Blair poops into being in front of him and the guy's just like, ah! <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good Good pacing, good timing. It good is stuff. funny that it just kind of happens. Yep. Like compared to like, you know, the special effects in the Xena half of the episode, which are so long and go on forever. Just mm-hmm. so much glowing and yeah. like people making faces. And here it's just like, <laughs> poof. Time travel from the future. Bam. There she is. Okay. Yep. Go on yep, the episode. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So there's like so much screaming happening and Selma Blair is wearing like a sweater, some jeans. And it's a little backpack. A little backpack. Does she have like a little like jean jacket on? I can't. Yeah. She's got some kind of. It's a jacket. jacket. Yeah. A white jacket? Like, yeah. yeah white it's a jacket. Windbreaker maybe. And let's not forget her wonderful airwalks. A baby oh. sweater. Yeah, it I, think, was I think the specific. airwalks are like important in the two hour movie. I think Olan is like oh, in amazing. love with her sneakers. I think Olan's in love with her. And her sneakers. Okay. <laughs> she would have gone right from this to film Cruel Intentions. I feel she, like. the she vibe looks, she yeah. looks that right, she portrays. That was 1998, yes. Cruel Intentions. Yes. And wasn't that a thing like that she got that movie so that she couldn't even like do. Not that this was oh, picked up. Oh, Amazon High? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's probably part of why it fizzled. They probably lost whatever contractual mm-hmm. th- hold they had on her. Right. Okay, so, so much screaming's happening, and Samsara's like, what the fuck? And she, like, can't have, like, she can't make Selma Blair stop screaming, so she has to, like, punch her out. And she's like, this is the great Atma? Ugh. <laughs> 
I know there's I'd a scream really like cool that. It's weird. I mean, yeah, you're like with the cave women. You we're just <laughs> in mean, your yeah. school being you're just a in biology. Yeah. She's not here. I actually don't know. I don't know what her deal is. Uh, so l- let's talk about this wild horses scene. Wild horses. Oh. Couldn't drag. Well, before that, don't forget this amazing <laughs> this amazing voiceover of uh, our modern day Amazons like reciting this history, being like, her strange ways and clothes confused the tribe, <laughs> but her courage was real. Oh, I see. So that courage is the wild horses. Wild uh, horses. Scene, which may be our favorite scene out of the whole thing. Oh, it's so good. We will ex- put the a pin in it. The music is really good, even yeah. beyond <laughs> what we love about uh, it. My I note, would put what, that note as well. My yeah. note is kind of... Enya-ish. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really cool. Enya was female, yeah, like, pretty popular back at vibes. this time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there you go. So there's like the cat. There's a beautiful white horse, and the ladies like surround uh, this horse, and they have it like they have like the lasso, whatever, around the neck. Like it, it's you know it's like a scene. Like they're gonna break this horse, right? They're wild. So they're gonna. Selma Blair runs immediately and jumps on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just as like, like bareback. Boing. Yeah, she just jumps on it. And it's like she's Whoa. lost her jeans. Yes, she's wearing like a like a mm, what well, would you call that? It's a skirt. Caveman skirt. And I think her belt from her jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Why so, did she take off her jeans? I think the, that might have been later because like the, the continuity. Jeans come back yeah, the continuity uh, of these scenes is not how it is. I see. They so, mo- of course, because this is from a two-hour movie. Right. Yeah. Take note yeah. of her. Uh, the yeah. bottom half. I think her hand <laughs> like, would have like very slowly progressed from her full outfit to the full Amazon outfit, and at this point we see her. She has lost her jeans. Yeah. But the jeans come back with the, the way they use the clips. <laughs> So yeah, she jumps on this horse and everyone's freaking like, out. You mounted a swift one. What? <gasps> no one's done that before. Claudia Black is especially impressed. You truly are the Atma. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> so it like, you know, after a while, the horse kind of like bucks her off. She falls, right? And then she's like, wait a second. If you, do, if you guys don't ride the swift ones, what do you do with them? And then they go... Well, we make dins out of them. <gasps> no, not dinner. Yeah. <gasps> Ceremonial dins. Oh, no. Yes. Pearl clutch. <sighs> so this is a, a line that's like in our daily lexicon. Yeah. <laughs> From having watched well, it in 2005. in 2005. This is a classic line. I've been line. quoting this for no reason. <laughs> for a decade. <laughs> Do you have the full line written out? Because the yeah. quote in my head that I use is not exactly the It's just same. half of it, yeah. right? The, the full line is, you can't eat them. Horses aren't food. Yeah. So we just say, horses aren't food. My favorite part is how she's like, horses aren't food. I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's very good in this. She's... I think Selma Blair is great. But I don't think she's very good in this. <laughs> I have a film rec. For anyone who loves Selma Blair, I recommend last year's Mom and Dad. Yes. Uh, awesome horror movie with Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair. She is so good in this movie, you guys. Give it a chance. <laughs> it's so It is really good. Selma Blair is great. Yeah. I really love her. I find her energy odd, and I can't, in this particular show, that I don't understand what the show was going to be. You know She's what I mean? She's just so, like... <laughs> That specific, like you said, her energy, but her energy is exactly like that one from Cruel Intentions. Like, yeah, which is why I'm like, what is happening in this show? Yeah. Like, it's, hard, it's hard to imagine it as a lead character's energy because it is a little zany. Yeah, I mean, just so much of this though, like, reminds me of Cleopatra, twenty five, twenty five. That, yeah, like, I, I'm already like, you know, geared to liking it because like, <laughs> and I, I love Cleo. <laughs> Was, is it less loud than Cleo? Because you couldn't watch that show. I tried. Yeah. I tried. You guys. I tried to get into yeah. it. Yeah, we could not get into it. I was not into it because I found the sound design in too assault loud. <laughs> to my <laughs> eardrums, and Fair. I didn't finish it <laughs> i just have a line in my notes that says this outfit is so buffy her i think outfit? it's the sure. sweater that's a crop top yeah the mm-hmm. time period that was in very, mm-hmm. very buffy yeah okay so claudia black then tells uh Selma blair that she can join their tribe and uh you know they got to do a ceremony 
And yeah. Yeah. coincidentally, it's like the same one. This is how we get back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> this this, this was present. happening with Gabs right now. I got annoyed at this point in my notes because I felt like Gabs suddenly having a coronation. A coronation <laughs> about being queen. Gabs having this coronation to me was like stealing Eve's shy. Like Eve's getting this like sweet little gift and it's, it's like all hail Queen Gas. Let's well, do a they, deep throw party for Queen Gas. <laughs> they set that up. They were like, you can't give her the right cast until you're actually made queen via the ceremony. I think it's because the baby couldn't do the dancing. I know. I mean, this should have been for the baby. Although dancing baby was around this time too. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Can you imagine if that were as Zena oh, did it first? Oh god. <laughs> I can I can see them trying to do that. Okay, so part of this ritual is that they're all talking about their traditions. Mm-hmm. They're all, you know, connected to the great Gaia. Yeah. Um, we cut back and forth yeah. to dancing. It's a tradition of dance, mm-hmm. of music, of sacrifice, of blood. Amazon tradition's big deal, pinning it as well next yeah. week. But the dancing is a, a big yes. one. Ha. So I mildly enjoy this as much as I don't really like the like cyan thing and you know stuff that is part of Amazon history and culture on this show stemming from this ridiculous plot. This I don't mind, which is that it may be some silly Amazon dancing that seems really modern in the just regular Amazon episodes stems from <laughs> crazy Selma Blair's 90s dancing <laughs> that got, like, integrated into yes. their moves. I like that. I and do. she is doing the famous sequence from Pulp Fiction for a minute. Yes. Yep. And other things. And <laughs> other does, things will be later. Yeah, and Olan is loving every second of she it. She is. You guys, it's so She there. has the big hard eyes. She does. So anyway, I'm okay with that <laughs> on some level. So yeah, they're they're doing this dancing. You know, there's all these shots of the moon. That's a big one. And like, you can see that. And I kind of like this, that in the olden times, they're dancing under the same moon as Gabrielle yeah, right now. So that was, that was a good moment. The same sky. Yeah. We should talk about the fact that Gabrielle looks fun here yeah. under the spotlight. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. Kind of be doing a like sexy trance acting, Ooh. yeah. Which later maybe turns into orgasm acting, <laughs> maybe. So wait, the is this the the blood like they they do the blood sacrifice here, and you think that she's gonna uh, Selma Blair is gonna get like killed, killed on a on a, you <laughs> on know, a big rock, yes, yeah, with like a knife. But no, they just like cut your arm. They harm the sweater. They do. Yeah. I was bugged. I was <laughs> that like, sweater that's, is gonna go. That sweater is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and they both, so Gabs and Selma Blair, both get the arm scratch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they like look at their like bloody hands. And then for Gabs, like the moon turns red. It's like a blood right. moon now. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like there's a big red spotlight on her. Mm-hmm. And you're like, whoa, trippy. Whoa. <laughs> okay, then you have some more flashbacks, right, to uh, the, to the warriors of like Amazon High fighting. And then, oh. like this is intercut, right, with more more Gabrielle Cornish Yeah, because um, Cyan says, as our four sisters honored the first Cyan, Give your spirit kiss to our new queen, yes, Gabrielle. The spirit kiss. The spirit kiss. <laughs> I got excited for this, and then it was not as exciting as it sounded. <laughs> yeah, they're all. just like air kissed they and like dance kiss. some more. <laughs> Legitimately, they do that. Yeah. And then Cyan lets the cat out of the bag. She's like, she will lead us in our quest for, ven- for vengeance. And Gabs is like, yeah, vengeance, vengeance. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a journey. <laughs> and she's like, no way am I doing that. She's like, this battle is over. You guys already won. You drove the Samites from the northern steppes or whatever. We never yeah, see this enemy. Yeah, right, right. It's yeah. such a deus ex machina <laughs> any enemy. You're just like, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, you can't like go seek vengeance on an enemy you've already beaten yeah. that's not cool she's like let's just stick to the original plan let's just like make eve like part of the tribe let's just do that and then you could you cut to uh xena and yakut ghost and they're making some plans her outfit is full of fringe 
cringe, yeah. fringe, fringe. Is it the days. same? It's the, she's wearing the same one, right? Because it had the little snakies. Yes, yeah. that's right. I I thought this was so baffling because Zena is like looking, I guess, for the Atma dagger. Yeah, right. And like, it just looked like she was like going through like somebody's laundry. <laughs> I was like, this is what Zena's doing but in this episode. Isn't this like Yakut's house, like the shaman tent? I guess. So she's yeah. going through Yakut's. Stuff. Laundry. <laughs> really heroic behavior. Just like going through the laundry. Yeah. It's not here. Uh oh. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> so Yaku tells her that she can uh, look for it via like the spirit world. Right. Uh, but she Ugh. can't bring it into this our to world. Me is the most embarrassing. It's embarrassing. She needs Xena to bring it into the oh, real this world. This is so bad, you guys. <laughs> I can't even tell you how bad this is. She gives a, a slight like, oh my god, Xena, but. You could be stuck in the nether world. Oh, right. no. Oh, Drama. no. S- dramatic stakes for this <laughs> scene in which two people are standing there just kind of wiggling their arms going, dagger, dagger. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't approve. Yeah. So, she, so Yakut, like, you know, goes to find the dagger. She's like, Samsara's blocking me. <laughs> and then there's like, I love, okay, because it's so not good. I actually love this part. When she says, see, look at the Vera right now. I'm looking straight at her. And it just has such a wide smile of laughing joy. Liv, so, so do you. <laughs> And despite that pain noise, I think we all like this part. Sure. Specifically, all where right. she's like, Samsara's blocking me, and there's this close up of Danielle, like, just right, right in your face. Yeah. With, like, kind of like it's uh, mixed, overlaid. It's, it's mixed with uh, yeah. Evil Dead uh, yeah, imagery. Yeah, Cam. And it's yeah. just like, bzz, like, yeah. <laughs> we're blocking you. We don't have the footage for this. We really don't have the footage. We're sorry. It's pretty dumb, and I'm going to give it a stamp of approval <laughs> so guess what you guys she finds the dagger uh that's the horse Hooray! thingy that, by the way if it wasn't clear <laughs> um and then like you know she's like oh, i'm bringing it into the real world you know grab it it's like all this like, like electricity happening it's like straight flashy. out of david lynch yeah yeah i will again stamp of approve the electricity <laughs> sound effects yeah those like are this is reminiscent some tween, to me of tween good stuff. Picks. You guys are <laughs> trying picks. to make this good. I it reminds me of something good. Realness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, this is amazing, especially when Zeta grabs the fake like snake looking like thing. Oh my god, and like tries to yeah, wrench it wrench away. away. And you're like, oh, a spiritual <sighs> struggle. I can feel the effort. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so she got the dagger. So now she must look into the past for answers so that we can use some more of the Amazon high clips. So Samsara and Cyan are having a race. Right. It's like a, a race over there where there is a, a tree with the red hard fruit that we eat, which I thought was like, really? You guys don't have the word for apple yet? Yeah. Can't you come up with a word? Any word? No. Like, yeah, you would come up with a word for the thing, right? Yeah. No. Why are there no nouns in the past they're like the swift ones oh yeah the, the, the thing we eat like come up with some nouns do they have nouns for cannibals or no yeah they say cannibals oh that's weird i don't know <laughs> so yeah they have to run and selma blair is like oh i'm nervous because i'm clearly not as athletic as uh samsara and so she cheats and starts running faster like immediately mm-hmm. like she's like ah and then i'm off cloudy black cloudy black voice is like I think the race has begun. <laughs> I can't do her voice, but yeah. it's just... Yeah, I'll, just like I, drop it 20 octaves. Every and, time yeah. she says a line, I will remark. So they're running, and then there's like some kind of like ravine that they have to jump over, this like river. It does not look possible to jump. It no, looks of course not. many, many, many no. feet. Yeah, and the jump that they actually do, like there's no fucking way this high school student could do it. She clearly does not look athletic at all. And so she kind of falls and like is hanging on to it. From the side, you think she's going to die in this river. Sure, we do. <laughs> well, she actually does fall in, but she's rescued by Carl Urban. Otherwise known as Kyle. Kyle. Here he's named it Kor. Kor. <laughs> so it's very <laughs> confusing. But, you know, he's going by the na- the Kardashian name scheme, so it's fine. <laughs> Kor, Kyle, Carl. <laughs> So he's cute, and, you know, that's, like, the first thing on Selma Blair's mind. 
I thought this little section where they talk to each other for the first time is so funny because at first you're like looking at Carl and he's kind of doing these like head movements and you're like, yeah. it seems like he doesn't have any language. Like he just yeah. is going to grunt his way through this episode. Right, yeah. And then suddenly he's like, good body. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. His first line. Oh. Would you find that problematic? Maybe. Yeah. She, she's into it. Which yeah. She's just, just she's so sort of into makes it. it worse. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, I mean, she was, he takes her to this cave, and she's like, hi, you saved my life. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. I, oh. I have such a soft spot for Slumber Player. And then he's like, goodbye. She's like, Thanks. <laughs> And then they kiss. It's yeah, he weird. Like dips her, you know? Yeah. He does the romantic dip. It's weird. I feel like a, this caveman would not be, like, kissing like that. And then she's like, he's a good kisser. I don't believe that at all. <laughs> I believe weird. he'd they smell did, like, really bad. Brushing, and of course he would smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a cannibal. Yeah. He lives with the cannibals. Yeah. Everyone would smell bad. She, the whole thing <laughs> should just be her being like, I I smell can't. so bad. Everyone smells so bad. <laughs> but there is a lot of, like, just wild open spaces. That's that must true. smell all right That's over a, there. You're right. It's not like... <laughs> You're right. It's not a city full of, like, horse manure. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm sure it's better than that. So she's like, oh, I think we're moving too fast. <laughs> then they start making out. And right. She's fine with it. Uh, Samsara runs in and breaks it up, though. Thank you, Samsara. <laughs> yeah. So she fights Kor. Uh, but then Selma Blair, you know, she's like, he's my new boyfriend. And she kicks her. And that's bad. Yeah. Samsara's like, oh, my God, you're siding with the enemy, traitor. Yep. The penalty is dead. Gasp. Xena then explains that Samsara was blinded by hatred and bloodlust. And you're like, really? <laughs> Is that what we saw in the clip? She also said that, that like that was the moment of history that was like lost to them. Like what? Because Samsara's been keeping that from them. What? That that core, I guess, is nice. I guess. Is All he? Right. I don't know, question mark. <laughs> I guess he is. He's the cutest of the cavemen. And uh, Yakut explains that even present day Amazons are like blinded by hatred and bloodlust. Hence them inducting people into the Amazons via bathing them in blood. And you're like, oh no, Eve, don't right. get a bloodbath. This was actually a really good part because she, uh, Yaku goes like, she, she's saying this. And as she's saying that, she kind of like realizes it and like looks down at her hands and they're like covered in blood. Oh, that I was did really not cool. register that. Was, that was like a little good moment. Yeah. Good There's moment. Like, you know, Kate Elliott who plays Yakut. Fun. Yeah. Fun actress. Sure. So, as you mentioned, this was going to be like, you know, intercut with Eve getting uh, inducted in the blood. And there's like a, a horse that they're going to do that thing that happened on Game of Thrones season one. Oh, no. <laughs> Sad. I thought all the shots of like the, the close ups of the horse eye being like, no, yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> And it was like a white horse, right? This yeah. is probably the same horse that they used yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Amazon High. Well, actually, <laughs> no, because no. it's totally, yeah, totally yeah, right. You're right. <laughs> but it was like a, a white horse. It's um, supposed to be called to yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, intentional, yeah. for sure. And then you get this funny little shot where they like hold the baby up next to the horse and the camera like pans. <gasps> I from love the that. Yeah. The, horse. the baby's good. just like, what's that there? <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> But then Xena breaks it up with a timely chakram. Right. The knife is, uh, you know, thrown out of the, the hands and the horse is saved. Phew. And Gav goes and gets Eve. Um, I loved her little, she did that little soft no. It was good. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then, you know, takes Eve over and stands next to Xena and just like, I am sorry. That is just <laughs> not what I wanted Why? and that she's like that's not how i was initiated so right it was not part of what she expected to happen at yeah. all but of course that was a different amazon it's, tribe you're right uh -huh. yeah i mean all the more confusing <laughs> a lot of these like new like current amazon episodes is gabs being like i don't know this ceremony i don't know this yeah <laughs> Wait, so it seems to know that this is like a different amazon yeah. sect and yet she's queen of it too yep yep so Xena is like, this is wrong mm -hmm. and bad. And Cyan is like, you can't sit with us. You're not an Amazon. So don't <laughs> tell us what to do. Yeah, that was good. I really liked it. She's like, this has been our way for generations. Who are you to tell mm -hmm. us any different? You're not even an Amazon. You're just a virgin who can't drive. <gasps> <gasps> way harsh, Ty. <laughs> 
But Zena's like, no, it's wrong. And then she presents the Atma dagger. Right. She just is like, listen to your ancestors and like raise <laughs> it this up. Is, this, is, this is my least favorite part of how the like mythology the and situation work. and clips are working because what is this mystical dagger? How did she pull it out of like the realm? Why is she able to just <laughs> stick it up in the air and show them clips? Don't ask questions. <laughs> Don't ask <laughs> questions. Okay. Rob doesn't I thought that was our job. Question. And also, but... like, how does she know? <laughs> like, she's talking like she's already seen the clips. Right. How's yeah. that work? Well, she believes your coot who has right. seen the clips. I guess so. Yeah. She's yeah. like, you've seen Amazon High, right? Okay. Gonna wave this. <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, then they watch the clips, right? So it's, we, we have the Amazons versus the cavemen. Right, it's it's Cyan and Olan. They're like captured by the cavemen. Why is Olan captured? Because like Olan goes wherever Cyan goes. Oh, right, 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 right. She's in yeah. love. And then Kor has the, he has that like Jesus thing happening. Yeah, he's like, I guess the uh, other cavemen are mad at him for being in love with... Cyan, right. yeah, just he's... like how the Amazons are mad. Oh, right. This Cyan. is some some Shakespearean shit. Oh, here. yeah. They definitely they have a moment of like Romeo yeah, and Juliet yeah. staring. Shakespeare wishes this. You know, he could be as good as this. The leader of yeah. the cannibals like gives him a knife and is like, "Bleed her," and he's like, "No." <laughs> this is what those yeah the the Tritolmics and the Varanas they're right. the Capulets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what's happening That's here what's in this uh-huh, happening. beautiful yeah. love story. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, the ladies, they rescue Selma Blair. Right. Samsara's at the head of the army, and she's like, this is for my father. Right, because we find out she yeah. has a backstory that her dad was killed by one of these cavemen with, like, a scar. yeah. Just one of she them. Needs one revenge, random one. Big time. Vengeance, vengeance for my papa. It's vendetta. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Can't even do a quote right. It's vendetta. <laughs> so then we get yeah, like I liked that it's um, Claudia Black who does all the backstory. Yes, because you get to hear her voice yeah. speaking yeah. lines. Yeah, I don't I, care what the I lines are. I want Claudia are. Black to explain me to other people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I think that'll be nice. Just have Claudia Black pop out and be like, "Well, Livy, when she was younger." <laughs> She I think- watched a lot of Star Wars, <laughs> and she that loves the prequels the most. She didn't do it about us, but it was awkward. All oh, right, we met her once. It yeah, was, it was bad. But I, but I love her. It wasn't her fault. <laughs> it wasn't her fault. It was our fault. It yeah. was her agent's fault. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Excuse but me. But she has very intuitive powers. She guessed we were film students immediately. Mm, that's true. Only because we picked a black and white photo. That's right. Of her to sign. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Good job, Claudia Black. She, that year, was at Dragon Con uh, to get some cashy monies to renovate her yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she was very upfront about that. I love that. She's so good. So the flashback uh, and clips are interrupted because, like, the Semites are returning to, you know, nowadays times, and uh, they need to run and attack them. Well, they're not returning. They're like going oh, they're attacking after again? Them. The Semites are retreating and the Amazons oh, are just going to okay. go after them yes. and butcher they them. They want to, basically, yeah. it's Eris, right, who runs in. We don't know her name yet. Yeah, we don't know her name yet, but yeah. yes, one of our, There's like, yeah, she's one of our new, new uh, Amazons. Amazons that we follow. She runs in, she's like, yeah, they're here, let's go, let's go get them. So Zena's like, no, you can't do that. Be guided by the truth. <laughs> each, each time she raises this thing, she's another great line. Yeah, and every time, Sam's like, bitch, this is an Amazon matter. Stop talking. And she's like, no, I got the talking stick. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was good. I liked that one. Yakut Ghost tells Zena that she needs to stop them, or she and the tribe are lost. And at this moment, Cyan is, like, super pissed. She draws her sword because they must avenge. This is, like, when Zina's, like, getting through to her by, like, reminding her about how, like, Yakut took a, an arrow for her, like, mm-hmm. died for her. Yeah. And Cyan's like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I feel bad about that. <laughs> well, she's like, if you do this, she's going to be, like, damned for eternity. And she's like, oh, okay. I don't like that. <laughs> and then she's, like, suddenly, like, Yakut, are you here? <laughs> and Yakut's like, I am! It sort of sparkles into existence behind her. 
<laughs> so she could have done it all along. Uh, uh, I don't know if she can no? see it. You can't see it. It might still just be okay. Sina. All right, you're right. You're right. I don't think she, no, anybody ever sees it. I have a note here that's like, they tell her that, you know, Yaku took the arrow, right? And then Sans like, why would she do that? Zena says, because she loved you. Mm. Aww. Aww. My note is just gay? Question mark? Uh, question mark. Maybe. <laughs> Remember how why not? Um, Yakut's first love? Yeah. Oh, Tene or Tene? Wow, I can't believe you were, that one I can't yeah. help you with. Yeah, Sintrades. <laughs> yeah, Sintrades yeah. girl. Definitely very shippy back then. So Zena's like, you guys need another flashback. And here we go. (laughs) Here we go. I wish you just said that. (laughs) Just gave up all pretense. And it was just like, you flashback. (laughs) So there's like some like legit battle of the sexes. We have the ladies on one side. And then we have like the evil dudes on the other. We have a shot of the guy who killed Samsara's dad. He's there. Oh. We have the guy and then, like, who... there's the Riders of Rohan. Well, they that, arrived. That, um, that's a big surprise. Oh, that oh happens, just okay? like when the Riders of Rohan appear. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Sure. So there is uh, Claudia Black. She's kind of like leading these ladies. And like the cavemen are like, attack! So they go and uh, attack. And then like surprise Riders of Rohan. Claudia Black is staring them down the whole time. Yeah. I'm it's surprised amazing. they don't die just from the <laughs> from Claudia <that>. Black stare. <laughs> this is a big deal because they have not ever seen anybody ride the Swift ones. Whoa. But Selma Blair taught them all. She did. Off screen. <laughs> Amazon's like, rule. That is her war cry. Amazon's rule. They do. (laughs) So yeah, to recap, I don't like that the Cyan title came from this, and I don't like that she taught them to ride horses. That is very strange. (laughs) Do we know? We don't know that they're... I don't like that she named them Amazons either. She named them Amazons. It's one of those things. It is interesting, though, because that name is so mysterious. Like, people don't (gasps) know where it comes from. Okay, great. Sorry, it's amazing. It's not Greek. Wow. Hmm. So, okay, wait. So it probably comes from the future. Amazons that we know from this show have not been like, they're not like the Dothraki where it's like, these are horse people. That's true. They're like tree hiding right, people. Right, we have, we've barely seen them ride yeah. horses at all. So it's just like a fun thing that. But then again, this was made back in what, like season three of Xena. Oh, they thought that so they would become. Maybe they would have okay. done that. Yeah. Well, this, regardless, this was pretty epic for Michael Hurst's uh, movie. Yeah. Movie Riders of like, Rohan, baby. Zena did it first. Lots of horses, like legit. Just a lot of people, like fighting. A lot of cranes. A lot of action. Good music. Kind of, kind of surprising production values. You know what I mean? This is literally why they're using this in this episode. <laughs> they were just like, it looks so good. How could we just? We leave spent it? so much money on that. <laughs> Gotta use it. Tayan Selma Blair is actually she's, she's now in the makeover, f- right? Full full like Amazon outfit for she's her. She's like wearing like a, a like a Bambi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what she I got. Said. She got the deer. She's yeah. wearing Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you have like the battle. You have like some like little groups fighting. You have the Samsara. You know she kills the dude who killed her dad. Vengeance, vengeance for my papa. <laughs> still, Simpsons. still wrong. <laughs> Then Selma Blair saves Kor from being killed by, like, his own, like, the one dude. Oh, right, yes. From his own people. And then Samsara, like, kills that dude. Right, Samsara, like, protects Cyan's life. So yeah, but she's just, like, moment. going off. She's going that's crazy. It's, ki- it's kind of... The bloodlust! Yep, yep. It's upon her. And she, once once the cannibals start running away, she wants to go after them, yeah. much like the present day Oh, plot. my goodness. But Claudia Black is, like... No. <laughs> her voice. <laughs> her face is the best. It's all very good. We've already beaten them, she says. <laughs> so really, it's Claudia Black who's like the wise one from history who they yeah. should all be learning from. Mm-hmm. They never even They really, didn't need They didn't need no cyan. Yeah. This lady knows what's up. Point me in the direction of some Karina. What was her name? Yeah, Karina. Fan fiction. Yeah, let's let's read some Karina. Thanks. Good stuff. <laughs> the first Ayan should have just been named Claudia Black. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool name. It definitely sounds like a fantasy heroine <laughs> name. Claudia Black. So Summer Blair uh, sets Core free and she's like, Go, go lead your people. 
Make Show them, them a better way. Make them not be cannibals. Although I, we didn't see really them have that talk. No. I don't know why Cor would do that, frankly. But fine. He like kind of like limps off. It's a very like hilarious exit. He's just sort of like, uh, yeah. bye. So we exit this flashback and Cyan in uh, our present day is like, damn, how could we have strayed so far? So far. <laughs> That's what the Xena production staff is thinking. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, well. And then Gab's like, it doesn't matter because we won't talk about that show again. It's fine. She's like, it doesn't matter. Well, this is, I have this. cat. Well, it's not capitalized, but I should have capitalized it. It's underlined a lot. But this is very Gab's thing to say. She says, it doesn't matter. Decide who you want to be right here, right now. That's so Gab's. That is, it doesn't matter. That's good. Just could be yeah. talking to Xena. Yeah, it's really true. Mm-hmm. That's really good. And then they're like, we're not supposed to fight? And Xena's like, only for self-defense. Time for a new tradition. The tradition death. of That's death. That's season five's total just like e- easy answer to every yeah. hard thing Kill they were discussing. Kill everyone for... in self-defense. Yeah, it's just that they've just turned around and been like, oh yeah, we fight now, but only in self-defense. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, I mean... Sure, especially for the world they live in. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, it, you're it, right. It feels a little easy. Yeah. So they start mm-hmm. dancing, and is this kind of like the end of uh, Return of the Jedi, yeah. right? Where Always need like some Ewok. The, music. the big party happening uh, in present day, and then in the yep, flashbacks. Yep. <laughs> did you just. Did I just say yup yup? Yup yup. Yeah, I did. Yup yup. <laughs> <laughs> So Clyde Black uh, lays down some some new ground rules for for this new tribe. No more men. Excellent. Great. great, great. Cool. But it's in honor of the men they lost. Sure. Which sure. is bullshit. Right. <laughs> and and now, nobody can take their place. So just no more. Just, uh, yeah. just go with it because she wants to get rid of them. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the real reason. <laughs> um, she has an agenda. And now they're called Amazons. Yay! The Woo. name given to them by the Atma. Woohoo! So then they dance. Dance, 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 dance. They do. They do dance. So this um, is, uh, yep, some of our new Selma Blair dances. Yep. Oh, I love that you see Olan, and she's wearing an outfit that looks just like Cyan. Oh, that's great. <gasps> she's got like a little cutoff sweater type thing. Wow. As close as them. she can get. That explains why they have all their like midriff spared all the time. Yeah, it's a, from the baby. It's from the, the 90s. baby shirt style. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um... <laughs> What is less less okay? I know. <laughs> before I was like fine with the '90s dancing being incorporated into the Amazon dancing. It's fun, fun idea. However, they could have refrained from the Macarena. I think a little bit. That is for sure in there a tiny amount. I'm positive the Macarena is one of the examples of the like you know amalgamated dance like that is later. Or like that we've previously seen. The I know. Have do. we mentioned this before? And it's like now from here. Mm. <laughs> well, they certainly do do some of it. <laughs> <laughs> they do. There's a very slow mo, gorgeous uh, shot of Selma Blair dancing with Olan and making eye contact. I just need to point that out. Yeah, no, it's very that sexy. That was definitely there. 100% there. All right, so Eve gets uh, the right of cast now. Yeah, and okay. now it's just a baptism. Yeah. Baptism of water, well, not blood. They're doing it. <laughs> and we, we talked about this back uh, when uh, Ares called it a baptism in blood. We were mm-hmm. like, do baptisms exist? And uh, lo, they yep, do. They sure do. I love that the baby looks angry, oh. <laughs> as all babies do when getting baptized. She's, oh. like, so mad. Also, she's not wearing her hat. I know. It's weird. It was weird. I was like, who's that? I oh, know. it's E. <laughs> so Yakut Ghost appears, and she's like, thanks, Cena. Thanks for saving the Amazons. She's being all floaty as usual, and then she, like, flies away, and oh. it is a bad effect. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Aye, aye, aye. So they, well, yeah. I love, I mean, I love Xena and Gab standing there with their baby yeah. getting this, you know, ceremony done. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, and finally I'm it's not, something they can all agree on. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. It's cozy. Yeah. And then they dance it out and the episode's over with some final... Uh, More scrolls. Scroll video. 
<laughs> yeah, I I get that it, it lends it this quality, this sto- sort of because the whole thing is based on this storytelling of the you know clip show of Amazon yeah. High, so I get it thematically. Um, but I really feel like she wrote it like the day after, <laughs> and she's reading it because it it's certainly not from the future. <laughs> so, like the stuff that she's saying doesn't gel with mm. with that. So I think she's reading it. Later that night. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So the Amazon legacy to temper might with mercy was restored thanks to the innocence of a child and the wisdom of Zeta. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right. Okay. (laughs) Definitely. I mean, was it Zeta's wisdom? Zeta just kind of went along with Yakut. Yeah. Yeah. Zeta mostly just raised that knife whenever it made sense in the story. Well, this was the first episode of Zena I ever watched from beginning to end. It's got Claudia Black. She's delightful. It's got Selma Blair. She's fun. Daniel so, McCormick. Always got, awesome. Love to see her. Yep. yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Could, could have been worse, you guys. I guess. It certainly exists. <laughs> fun thing about episodic television is you could more easily excise things from the plot that you don't like. This is all true. For instance... Yeah. Most of this. <laughs> Most of this. I mean, it's fun to see Amazon High. It's a weird little TV relic that yeah. otherwise you'd have no access to. Right. So it's fun to be like, oh yeah, wow, that happened. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> In conclusion, watch Farscape. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing show that I haven't watched in a long time and now really would like to. Especially if you love epic romances. And if you're watching this show, I think you do. That wraps it up. Yay. So follow us on the stuff and the things. Yeah. Xenowarriorpodcast.com. We are on Apple Podcasts. Uh, Find us over there and you can listen and rate and leave reviews. We would love to hear from you on there. Um, We are on Twitter at Xenowarriorpod, on Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram um, under Podcast, And then also on Patreon, Podcast. It's patreon.com is P A. T R E O N. That's how you spell it for sure. I love I love these because nobody listens to them. We could say whatever we want. <laughs> Amazon's rule. Baby row. <laughs> did I spell Patreon right? Even? Yeah, you did. Okay, cool. Uh, that's it. Nothing yeah. else. Nothing else. Uh uh uh. All Next right. week more Amazons. Hooray! Cool. Cool. The power. The passion. The, the podcast. podcast.